how to use Adobe Fresco to do the Matisse cutout shape project. You need to make, create a new project. We're making a custom size. In Fresco, you're allowed to pick pixels or inches. We're working in pixels. Click on the top one and delete all of that. We want an 864. Delete that by 648. And click Create Document. What you're going to do is all your colors first. Mine is a beach scene, so first I'm going to start with blue. Use any brush at all, but remember you do want a texture, you want a variation. I'm using the live watercolor and the flat brush. So see these different colors? That's more purple than blue. Let me change that. We're trying to make these look like they were hand painted, so good. There's blue. Now I'm going to hide that by clicking on the eye icon right there. Now that's hidden. I'm going to add a new layer and choose a lighter blue. You can use the same brush or you can use a different one. Let me go to oil color. With oil color, you have a canvas showing through the background. And then if you build up the color, see how, I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me make the brush a little smaller. It actually looks, the more you click on it, there's dimension. I will hide that layer by clicking on the eye icon, add a new layer. Now I'll pick a sandy color. Going back to watercolor because it is my favorite one. So you'll continue until you have all your colors. Next, I'll show you how to cut the shapes out. I will start with the sandy layer and this will be my beach. So over on the right hand side, you want this tool. It's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh tool down. Now, when there is a little triangle next to it, there, that means that there's other options hidden behind it. So I'm gonna press it. So this first one, you will see an outline with this one. I'll show you. So the first one's selected. Now I'm getting this line. Then you connect it. Now the next thing you can do is click on that little options right there on the layer. Click till it opens. And I'm going to copy that selection. Now make a new layer over here, click on that layer, press it, and then select Paste Selection. Then click Done up at the top. I'm going to hide the sandy layer by click on it, click on the eye icon, and that is what I cut out. Now if I want to move this around, 
click the tool above the selection tool, that is the move tool. And it's telling me I can't move it because I haven't selected my layer. So select the layer, click on that. Now I can move it. So I can change the size of it or I can just move it up or down. I can make it smaller. You can um, flip it both horizontally and vertically. Move that around. Okay, clip done. Now I'm going to hide that layer and make my dark blue visible. And this is going to be the ocean. So I'm going to get the selection tool. Now I'm going to show you what the second one does. If you click on that, this is your painting in the area. So anything that I paint, you could have holes in it, but you want to paint everything that you want. So I'm going to go like that. Then click on that option on the layer. And I'm going to copy the selection, make a new layer, click on it, and paste the selection. Click done. Hide the uh, color layer, the whole shape, that uh, not the shape, where you cut it out. I'm going to hide that. There's the shape. Now, I'm going to drag this up at the top. You click on it, press it until it lets you move it. Keep all your shapes up the top. And keep all your solid colored layers down the bottom. Now, if I make my sand visible, I'm going to move the sand, move it down a little bit. There's the sand layer. Click done. All right, now I'm going to hide all of those. You always have to make sure you click on the layer to hide it. Now I want to make the light blue visible, and I'm going to make some little teeny waves. I like that first option better. Click on that layer. Copy the selection. Click on a new layer. Paste the selection. Click done up at the top. Come back to your background and I hide it. Now I'm going to make my sand layer visible and my ocean visible. And if I click the move tool, whoop, I got the background wrong one. That one. Now I can move it. Now if you have move selected, which I have, I can just select all my objects and now move is already selected. Oh, that was neat. I didn't know it could do, oh, that was my old background. Um, there's the sand, there's the blue. So that's a nice feature. Once you have all your shapes cut out, you can just stay there and move them around. You can also duplicate a shape. You click, click done at the top. Say I wanna just uh, save, I wanna copy some of those ways. I'm going to click on that layer and there should be a duplicate layer and it automatically puts it into its own layer which is a nice feature. I'm going to click on it, go to move and I rotated it. I can move it over here. Okay, now continue going until you cut out all your shapes.